Hey guys, check out my orange hat tomatoes. These are micro dwarf tomatoes. These are the really good tomatoes for indoor hydroponics. We planted this orange hat tomato a month ago and this orange hat tomato three weeks ago. You can see the difference. Now we're gonna measure how tall these are. This is a inch and this is an inch and a half. Today we're going to add nutrients to both of our Microdorf orange hat tomatoes. So this is a six pod, so eight milliliters. Cool, Nathan. Hey, I noticed that container was a little light today. Do we have a trick on how to get the nutrients out of that container? Yeah. But we pour it into another bowl and then we use the syringe and we pick it up and we take it in and then we put it there. In. Good job, let's do that. Alright, we're going to be messing with chemicals, so goggles! <sighs> yeah, that's, that was pretty magic, right? It's magic again. Alright, my dad always shake this, but don't forget to shake it. Now let's get, now let's continue. That's enough, that's enough. Alright, my dad's gonna help me dispense the nutrients into the air garden. How much do I use? Sit. Eight milliliters, right? Right. Right there at eight. Okay. And second amount. How much do I need? Put a 
fan on to pollinate the flowers and we're also gonna flick the flowers. Flick the flowers, flick the flowers. Flick, flick, flick the flowers. Ready on this one. Flick, flick the flowers, flick, flick, flick the flowers. And let's make sure the fan's in a good spot where it can reach and screw Just like that. Flick, 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 flick the flowers. Good. All right, guys, we're going to name the plants. This one's called blue, and this one's called green. So let's take a peek at our tomato plants. Blue is at day 44. Look at the tomatoes. They're a lot thicker than last time. And to look at all those flowers. It's still producing more tomatoes every day. Good job. Now we're looking at green. It's at day 40. We finally got some tomatoes but and we have a bunch of flowers. We're trying to pollinate them by flicking them to try to get more more tomatoes. Behind me is a fan. Do, guys, can you tell me what the fan is for? Down below in the comments. Let's move on. We normally give our plants every 14 days the normal air garden mix, but every other week, green gets the cow map. See you in a few weeks. Today we're gonna add some cow mag and we're gonna take a quick look and give it some water. Okay, let's see how tall these are. All right, we're gonna measure blue first. It's about one, two, three, four, about five inches tall. We're gonna measure green. About one, nope, four, nope, a little bit higher. Oh, at five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. Time to give Blue a review. Last time we looked at Blue, the tomatoes were smaller. They all increased in size. We're gonna look at green. The tomatoes, two weeks ago, we finally started getting them in. We have some big ones over here. Those are probably the first ones that popped up. I see many more buds and a lot of flowers look good. And ho I hope to have them pollinated soon. We're gonna give Blue some water. I hope Blue will love that water. Adding chemicals, so don't forget your safety glasses. We're gonna add the nutrients to the water as we top it off. Help green lights that water, just like blue. We're growing orange hot tomatoes, a microdorf determinate plant. Okay, let's review. A indeterminate plant grows everywhere. And a determinate plant, a predetermined space. These seeds are non-GMO heirloom seeds. Tomatoes are from the nightshade family and they are desired for the, their lovely fruit. <laughs> See you next time, Blue, and see you guys later. Day 50, day 46. Welcome back. Today we're gonna look at the roots of blue and green. And we're gonna take a peek at them. Oh no, this one had just exploded like this. Oh, I wonder if the difference is because we've only 
been adding the cow mac to green. Green that is at day 46 looks much bigger than blue that is on day 50. Even though this age is higher than him. Every other week we put 3 milliliters of calcium magnesium into green. Look at the difference. And that made a big difference, hasn't it? Yeah, it's way bigger. It just exploded. And look at how many tomatoes. Yeah, it didn't There's have so any many. tomatoes for the longest of time, right? Yeah, and look, these still has big giant ones, but this has way much more. A lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, who do you think will win, blue or green? Enter your comments down below. I'll see you next time. Welcome back. Blue is at day 58 and green is at day 54. Oh my gosh! Look at those yellow tomatoes. And there's a secret tomato. Secret yellow. Why in there? What? It's kind of green, but kind of green, greenish yellow. Look at all those. There's a bunch of tomatoes back here. Whoa, look at this weird one. <laughs> so weird anyways. There's a bunch of flowers. But we're looking at green, day 54. The leaves are really thick and they look like cardboard with a little that green cardboard. It kind of feels like what is that velvet they feel it, like it velvet. feels bumpy like when you whip the first layer of cardboard off oh yeah to get to the bumpy layer of cardboard <laughs> the bumpy layer all right today we have a bunch of dead leaves over here i mean dead buds dead buds over here Yep. All right, let's go to blue. Let's go to blue. We're at blue, day 58. Oh, look at that glorious orange. And that one, that is a kind of be orange, but still yellowish. Anyways, don't forget that secret one. Forget that secret one. Of course, always there's a secret. Oh, yeah. They're still. They're this, also, they. But they look yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw a mini one, and they did its flower trucking off. I got a few. It's looking good. Let's let's go ahead and give it some nutrients and check out yeah. the roots. Let's give it some nutrients and check out the roots. Let's take a look at the roots. Whoa, that's some roots. That's long. Oh, I see it swallowed something. Oh, I see a bunch of buds in there. Flowers. Let's take a look at Blue's roots. Whoa, 
got some roots. They look really well. I don't see any in the pump. This is just the start of this plant. It could get way much bigger. Time to add some nutrients. Eight milliliters. What, Dad? Yes, sir. I already have it measured out. Nutrients to blue. Don't forget to shake your nutrients before measuring it. This is why. I blasted through that. Before we continue, we need to do a couple things. First, subscribe. Second, like. Third, hit the notifications. And if you really like this video, comment down below. Now let's move on. Now that we're done adding nutrients, we fill the water to the fill to here sign on the float. And then we hit the flashing red leaf. forget to hit your green leaf when you, when you finish adding nutrients. What does it do, Nathan? To cycle your pump. It also is good to do what? Turn on the pump and pump and test it. Exactly, so you can make sure it's working, right? Yeah. Let's do that to green. Let's make sure green is working. Yeah. Right. Maybe Go ahead and hit the button. The Go ahead and hit the button. A tomato fell. Oops. All right, push it to the side. Press and hold it in. There you go. All right, we'll see you in a few weeks. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Those look pretty, pretty juicy. Yeah, they look pretty ready. Well, this has a bunch of, of tomatoes, of course. This has some big ones, some giant ones. I mean, we've added the cow mac to this, of course. So today we're at 63 and 59. What has happened to those tomatoes? What has happened to green? Why is it dead? Well, well not really, but I think I think we might have added too much nutrients. Let's go take a look at the roots. All right. Oh, the the roots are fine, but the upper plant is not. Lower plant fine. Upper plant not fine. So weird. I don't know why. Now let's take a look at Blue's roots. I got it. Whoa. They look the same. Yeah, they look the same. Here's something exciting. This is almost ready to pick. So good. It's gonna be so good. I, I love the color right now. It's a beautiful color. They look so oh, I bet they're gonna be so juicy and so tasty. And orange. <laughs> Cause in the name, orange had tomatoes. <laughs> Dad and I agree that we'll give Green a root wash.
been hit to claim it a little. Yeah, we're just gonna take a quick peek at this. Peek, that's it. Unfortunately, I think green is going to take the L. We do so hard to make sure our plants survive because they give us food and oxygen. We need them. And without plants, we wouldn't be here. We try to keep our plants alive and well. And sometimes plants are plants and they just die. Like green. So, bye bye, green. Welcome back. It's day seven to four. We have loads to talk about. Let's get right to it. Take a look at the root loop we got today. First, let's look at green. All its leaves fell off, and these are tomatoes we harvested right before it came, just like that, when it had a bunch of crumbly leaves. That's about green. Oh wait, let's take a look at blue. I was about to say green. Unfortunately, the leaves look like this. They still feel like the bumpy layer of cardboard, like I said, said in that other orange hat to me. But yo. Look at the colors on top of those leaves. Do you know what caused that, Nathan? Too much nutrients. Green, we added way too much nutrients. Blue, only a little. But luckily, we kind of time we gave it a root wash and we gave it new nutrients and new water should be fine time to grab some tomatoes to show you. They have Blossom Watt and the other two. This is Blossom Watt. That means they did get enough nutrients. On Facebook, people were talking about these covers for green and blue. We ended up purchasing these at Michael's. This is not an endorsement. But we just wanted everyone to know that that's where we get these from. They come in a pack of, I think, eight sheets. 
They're non-sticky, so they don't have any stickiness. We're just gonna take a quick peek at what it looks like underneath these, just so I can show you that the splashes still get up on there, but for the most part, looks really good. Thank you all for watching this four-part series. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notifications. See you later. Fruit just found it. He gave me it. And now I'm gonna taste it. Taste down for the count. Three, two, one.